Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for July 28th, 2023. Great new arrival week. There's a lot of good titles, some killer restocks, uh, and uh, some good pre-order announcements to tell you guys about. The first one is Roger Waters is re-recording Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, this has actually gotten a lot of blowback. People aren't really a fan of this. I listened to the first track, Money Online, and I think it's fantastic. Uh, I don't think a lot of people understand the concept of this. I think it's, he's not trying to make a better than, you know, Dark Side of the Moon. That's obviously never going to happen, but it's kind of like a companion piece. In his own words, it's like Dark Side when he was in his 30s and Dark Side when he's closer to death. It's like Dark Side the bookends. So told from two different perspectives, kind of a young person and an old person. Uh, the first track I heard, Money, again, I thought it was great. It's kind of an avant-garde rock piece. There's some violins and the string section, and I think it's great. But we're going to get the full album on October 6th. Uh, I've got the indie vinyl, which is a uh, blue vinyl exclusive to indie record stores, and black vinyl on the website. Now, Impacts announced their next one step. That is Jennifer Warren's famous blue raincoat. This is an all analog Bernie Grumman one step. Comes out sometime uh, November 2023. November three disc set. So, what is that? The first, second? Is that the third one step from them? And then I think they'll probably do the uh, Getz Gilberto after that, which they've announced, but they haven't done pre order on that yet. But as of now, we do got the Jennifer Warren's up for pre order now. Uh, who's next? The Who, one of my all-time favorite bands, and this is, I don't know, but this is probably at this point considered their greatest album, their best album. I prefer Tommy. I think Tommy is their best album. But this is uh, going to be pretty nice. A lot of people are looking forward to this. This apparently was planchant process. The sound on this thing, from what I heard, is going to be fantastic. We'll see. I've got an indie Coke bottle exclusive variant, a black vinyl variant. Well, Black vinyl is a normal color. But uh, also, and I think this is the one I'm going to get, there's a 4LP box set, which is the remastered album, but it also includes the entire San Francisco 71 concert. Apparently the first time it's been released in its entirety. The Who Live, I think, is just the pinnacle of live shows. I think the greatest, to this day, I think the greatest live record ever made is the Who Live at Leeds. And this is kind of right in that ballpark, time-wise. So it's going to be big little programming note, on August the 6th, so two Sundays from now, I'm actually going to be doing a live stream with Kevin Gray. It's going to be a live stream. I've got a big announcement for you guys on that day. Really excited about it. I don't do a lot of interviews. This really isn't an interview per se, but big announcement with Kevin Gray, August 6th. Uh, I'll, put the, I'll put the live stream up now just so you guys can click the notification for when it does come around. We're going to do it at 2.30 Arizona time. So I'm excited about this. This is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited about what I got to tell you guys. So this is a major in-groove announcement for August 6th. Did I say July 6th? August 6th, two Sundays from now. Okay, let me show you guys this week's new arrival. Let's start with the uh, box sets. The first one is this ghost box set. This is Ghost, Extended Impera. They only made 2,000 of these. They're numbered. This is 1,830 of 2,000. But this is the LP, live from uh, the Ministry EP. Some more EP, a 7-inch. Uh, pretty cool. 18 by 24 live photo poster. Ooh, a wax seal kit, so you can make your own. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's a little, for a tchotchke, I mean, you can melt crayons and <laughs> make your own wax seals. Really cool. Uh, Ghost. Let's move that over there. This one I'm kind of excited about. Neil Young. This is the official release series. Disc 23 through 25. This is, well, I'll show you on the back there. Freedom, Ragged Glory, Weld, and Ark. Very difficult to find albums. So now we're getting into the era of Neil Young. Uh, so the first couple of boxes were nice because it's the records everybody wanted. When you got to like the 80s, a lot of people were like, eh. But now we're getting into the albums when you do find they're very expensive, very rare. And I don't think ARC has ever even been released on vinyl before. So I think that's a first pressing for ARC. But every one of these records, quite expensive. So 4LP, 4LP set, but 
Freedom's a double, Raga Glory's a triple, Weld is a triple, and Arc is a single disc. Remastered from the original analog recordings at Bernie Grunman Mastering. Historically accurate artwork. Uh, there's a little asterisk by that. I think it's like some of these discs were recorded digitally, some were recorded uh, analog, so that is probably what that asterisk is for. The Grateful Dead, live at RFK Stadium. This is an 8LP box set, limited to 9,000. Washington, D.C., 1973. Pretty well done, like all Grateful Dead box sets. They don't really cheap out. They do a pretty solid job with them. Okay, I think this is the biggest restock uh, announced in a long, long time. At one point in time, I want to say I did an auction maybe a year and a half ago. I might have got 350 bucks for one of these. And that was me telling people, this is coming back. If you wait, you will get it for $38.99. But some people didn't want to wait. So this record was buku bucks. And that is the elusive Chet Baker Sings Tome Poet. So yeah, this is the one that has been the longest to get a satisfactory repress on, and this is the one that everybody was looking for. But it is here, it is back in stock. I've had it for a couple days. I don't know how long it's going to last after this video, but yeah, there it is, Chet Baker Sings. Back as promised. Probably the most email too. Do you think this is coming back? No, I know it's coming back, but when? I don't know when, but I know it's coming back. They've said it's coming back. New from Third Man, I did a review on these, I think I dropped it a couple days ago. Donald Bird's Electric Bird. This is all analog. This is cut by Warren DeFever. But I did a review on this, watch the review. Really well done. Tip-on jackets, spot gloss cover, Electric Bird, and Thad Jones. Detroit to New York Junction. Keep in mind, this is... Uh, Engineered, I believe, by Rudy Van Gelder, but uh, recorded at Audio Video Studios. Okay, this is kind of cool because it, like, I just feel like I watched a, a video on YouTube of this or maybe saw a news story. But this is uh, Joni Mitchell, live at Newport from 2022. So, yeah, pretty quick turnaround time on getting this to market. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. This is the Backstreet Boys in a world like this. This is the 10th anniversary deluxe edition. Includes six songs recorded live in Japan. So actually this is interesting. So if this is the 10th anniversary, uh, I'm assuming that means this came out in 2013. I didn't know the Backstreet Boys were making music in 2013, but here it is. It's a double. Continuing with the Prince reissue series and a record that is not easy to get, uh, Come. Come Get Wild. Peace. Prince. Features Let It Go and Dark. The newest uh, Steely Dan title to be released as the standard 33 RPM, that is Pretzel Logic with uh, Ricky Don't Lose That Number, with the famous Horace Silver, uh, for all you guys complaining about jazz, it's got that famous, iconic Horace Silver sample at the beginning. Ooh, speaking of jazz, we've got the next in the series of OJCs. This is Mal Waldron Sextet, Mal 2. I'm curious of what this sounds like. I've actually, this is one of the Electric Recording Company records that I have, because, uh, yeah, had to, buy, had to buy one. This was the one I bought. But all analog cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. The next in the series of Verve series titles, this is Cannonball Adderley's Quintet in Chicago. All analog, mostly done by Ryan Smith. I think this was all analog, yeah. Done by Ryan Smith. Tip on jacket. Always love this cover. Okay, next is a restock slash some new arrivals. This is from Sam Records. The some of this is new, Sam Records and Lost Recordings. Some of this stuff is new. Some of this stuff came pretty heavily damaged on the last order, and it's taken me till now to get it back in stock. Uh, Barney Weiland. This is Un Timion Das La Ville, 10-inch. Barney Weiland, famous, uh, he's on Ascension to the Scaffold, so the uh, Miles Davis 10-inch, 10, 10 elevated to the gallows, right? Duke Jordan, 
Kenny Clark, Kenny Dorham. That was a great 10 inch. This is how it originally came. Sam Records, one of my favorite labels. It's kind of, and I've mentioned them many times, this is the Music Matters of France. They go back, look at the cover. Beautifully recreated, original negatives, original flip back. They use analog tapes most of the time. This says remastered from a copy of the master tape. The Barley New Island is remastered from the original tape cut by Kevin Gray. They just added all this information to the hype sticker. This wasn't on there before. I think Fred's watching the videos. I'm excited. I want to see what the rest say. But uh, this is originally on Decca, Clark Terry. Copy at Preston Palace. This is remastered from uh, the original Inamaster tapes. This is the Billy Harper Quintet Antibus 75. Still, flip back cover. Unbelievable job Fred does on these, and he's doing titles that are extremely difficult to find. Chet Baker with Bobby Jasper on Barclay. This is a studio album, but find an original from 1956 in good shape. Like, good luck. What's this say? Remastered from original master tapes. This, I think, might be the older hype sticker. One of my favorite on my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. This is Nathan Davis, Live in Paris. Uh, this is a very mild live recording, and I mean that the audience interaction is very minimal on this. It sounds very studio-like. Kind of like uh, Hugh Masekela's Hope, but not to that level sonically, but really good. Uh, really well-recorded live album. Chet Baker. Uh, quartet. Chet Baker Quartet. Let's see. Remastered. Just checking out hype stickers now. And this is just a killer record. I really love this. I'm so glad it's back in. I was playing it a lot when I got it last time, but every time I played it, people wanted to buy it. I didn't have it. So rather than people trying to buy my copy, I just stopped playing it. But this is Art Blakey. This, for the most part, almost has the entire moaning on it live. My favorite jazz album of all time, the record that got me into jazz. But uh, it's great. Moaning on here, of course. But uh, yeah, Bobby Timmons, Benny Golson, Lee Morgan. Great Great record. Packaging on it's fantastic. Uh, cut by Kevin Gray. Let's see. Press it optimal. Deluxe gatefold jacket with photos. The quality of this is just fantastic. I truly love this record. And Ron Jefferson. Choir. Okay, so some of these are new. I think most of these are new from the Lost Recordings, and a lot of these were done by Kevin Gray. Go on to the website. I haven't had a chance to even listen to these, but I've heard good things. Uh, this is a Marie Callas box set. Live in Berlin, 1955. These are numbered. Forgot how many they said they did, but they're all on the website. This is a three-disc set. We've got Earl Gardner, the unreleased studio recordings, 1967. And like I said, on this latest run, I think Kevin did a lot of these. Arturo Benedetti, Michelangelo. We're gonna just we're gonna stop there, because it's yeah. Arturo, Ravel, Concerto for Piano and Orchestra in G Major. Philip Catherine and Nicholas Fisman live in uh, Berlin, 1982. Joanna Marzi, the unreleased rare recordings. <sighs> Originals of uh, anything from Johanna goes for uh, Buku Buku Bucks, one of those violinists that's extremely sought after. This is a double. This one I'm going to definitely listen to and I'm going to get. But, uh, Dexter Gordon and Donald Bird, the Berlin Studio Sessions, 1963. This one looks really good. Dizzy Gillespie, live in 1973, live at the uh, Singer Concert Hall. Blossom Deary, the Lost Studio Sessions from the Netherlands. This is actually really good. This is a restock. I've got this myself. This is uh, Dave Brubeck, live at uh, Kerhaus, 1967. 
Of course, 1967, I'm assuming every concert had time out, excuse me, take out. It's on here as well. Uh, there's a real good version of Someday My Prince Will Come. Okay, continuing with uh, the new arrivals, we've got Rancid. The band. Tomorrow Never Comes. This is a 90s banger. Coolio's Gangster Paradise. This is the 25th Anniversary Limited Edition Remaster. 180 gram red vinyl with two bonus cuts. I saw him live at uh, the State Fair. He only had uh, one little, he only had one little squiggle left. <laughs> but it was a fun concert. It was him, Curtis Blow, Digital Underground. Man, a lot of the guys from that concert, and this wasn't that long ago, maybe 10 years ago, aren't here anymore. The Ullman Brother Band, uh, an evening with, this is a Friday music release, I'm trying to find out which show this is, an evening with the Ullman Brothers Band, first set, hmm. this is the first set of the Orpheum Theater, on Friday music, this is a killer comp for music on vinyl, Sugar Hill Gang, Rapper's Delight, this is uh, numbered on red vinyl to a thousand. Another music on vinyl title, Shuggy Otis, uh, limited to 1500 on red vinyl as well. Gordon Haskell, it is and it isn't. This is limited to 750 on green vinyl. Bo Diddley, A Man Amongst Men, this is limited to 1500 copies on purple vinyl, one of his uh, later year titles. Let's see, we've got The Lost Generation, Young, Tough, and Terrible. This is a Brunswick reissue. This is an org music did this. Mastered from the original tapes by Dennis Drake at the Music Lab. Wiz Khalifa, Multiverse. We've got a reissue of Helen Wolf's Message to the Young. This is from Elemental. They've been doing a lot of great Motown and chess reissues lately. Ike and Tina Turner, The Hunter. This is also an elemental title, originally on Blue Thumb. Chuck Berry in Memphis. This is also an elemental title. They've been pretty popular, so I've been getting all the uh, elemental reissues. They're doing a lot of like uh, soul and R&B titles as well that just are very difficult to find clean, so. This is the Isley Brothers, newest record. Make me say it again, girl. This is got Beyonce, Two Chains, Trey Songs. Yeah, Snoop Dogg, Rick Ross. We've got The Used. Toxic Positivity, this is a Picture Disc 2 LP set. And we've got the black vinyl. I'm assuming this is black vinyl, kind of the standard edition. Okay, so we've come full circle in the vinyl industry when I show you my next title, which is Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, Whipped Cream and Other Delights, a record once upon a time that I could have probably pulled 500 of them out of the dollar bin. That is not the case anymore. This is a very popular title. When I find it, it's typically trashed. Ben was back there pricing used records one day about six, seven months ago. Found a really, really clean minty copy. And he's like, I think we got to put 20 bucks on this. And I laughed in his face. I'm like, you're ridiculous. We're never going to get 20 bucks for this. I, you know, we talked about it. He's like, it's going to sell for 20 bucks. I'm looking at the sales history. This is a $20 record in this condition now. I laughed, I laughed. He goes, let's just try it. So he prices it, cleans it, puts it out, just sets it right here. And that effing record sold in five minutes. My mind exploded. And then it's happened a couple times since. So, logic would dictate it's time for the reissue. Remastered from the original tapes. Features artwork from the original 1965 release. I'm wondering who did the uh, remastering on this. I don't know. But there it is. Once uh, what was the most common record found in every record store is now, and at least it's reasonable for a new record. It's 25 bucks. At least it ain't a $40 reissue. These two uh, comps are pretty cool. This is movie hits of the 90s. This is a double disc from Music on Vinyl. 
So it's got like Tina Turner doing GoldenEye, The Great Beyond, R.E.M., Hold Me, Through Me, Kiss Me, U2, uh, Jamiroquai, Deeper Underground. So it's a pretty cool comp. The tracks on these are quite good. You've got the 90s uh, movie hits collected and the 80s movie hits collected. That one is on, nope, that's just a standard issue. But the Never Ending Story, we don't need another hero. Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me, Queens, A Kind of Magic, The Power of Love, The Beach Boys doing Kokomo, Beverly Hills Cop theme. Pretty, uh, pretty cool comp. And Disco Collected, another music on vinyl cop, comp. <laughs> Lips, Gloria Gaynor, James Brown, The OJs, Earth, Wind & Fire, Sister Sledge. You can go online and get the full track list. And also from Music on Vinyl, we've got Nina Simone's Baltimore. This is number two, 3,000 copies on translucent red vinyl. All right, Passion, I've witnessed it. This is recorded live at the Passion Conference. All right, we've got Bethany Const. Constino. This is her album, Natural Disaster. This is the Indie Store exclusive Dreamsicle vinyl variant. And we've got the standard black vinyl, I'm assuming. This is on Concord. I wonder what this is. That kind of looks like... Uh, we won't sell you the one I just bent. Oh, God. All right, Kim, the live album. The anniversary. This is on Motown. The Reagan Youth. Oh, come now, Jim. It could never happen here. I don't really know what's going on here. I'm guessing this is an anti-Nazi type of record. I'm not really a punker, but... Uh, Looks like they're killing that Nazi there, so or that clan's member. I'm sorry. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. This is Korn's Untitled Glow in the Dark Vinyl Jacket. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is a reissue from God, when did this come out? Ten years? This is a while back, right? That cover does look cool if that glows in the dark. It's kind of like that spot gloss. I'm guessing the spot gloss treatment is the glow in the dark part. Yeah. This is first Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, Whipped Cream and Other Delights, and now Dan Fogelberg's Greatest Hits. I don't know. This is what's this? People are buying it. This is from Friday Music. Yep, press it RTI. Dan Fogelberg. Yep, Dan Fogelberg. Okay, Dr. John, triple disc here of High Priest of Psychedelic Voodoo. Triple disc. Bad Religion. Recipe for Hate. Limited Anniversary Edition Colored Vinyl. This is on Tiger's Eye Translucent Vinyl. This week's King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. This is Flying Microtonal Banana. The Lucky Rainbow Edition. And like all Wizard Lizard Gizzard Wizard, Lizard, Wizard Records, it comes in a brown bag. There it is. Avail, 4 a.m. Friday. Bob Marley and the Whalers, Rest the Revolution. This is on green and black splatter of vinyl. What is this, Young Dolph? Paper Route, Paper Route Frank. This is the Silver Nugget Vinyl, first pressing, limited to 2,500 copies uh, with a QR code that you can scan for a hidden message. It's kind of a good little gimmick. Sure, it's an advertisement. Scan here for a hidden, hidden message. Boom, advertisement. Seven Dust, Truth Killer. Exclusive and strictly limited. Napalm 
Records Mail Order Edition. I don't think so, because it's right here. This is, uh, yeah. Must not be very exclusively and strictly limited to Napalm, Napalm Records Mail Order. But, because, uh, yeah, there it is. Is this a new album by Seven Dust? Are they still making music? Yeah, 2023. All right, yeah. There it is. And Chrome, No Humans Allowed. This is on purple and clear splattered vinyl. All right, guys, all of this can be purchased online at theingroove.com. Uh, check us out and bookmark that live stream. It's going to be fun. All right, guys, until next time.